Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. If you haven't noticed, from Milwaukee to Nashville. Mm-hmm. And if you haven't looked at his as well, um, we have admirals and friends stuff all over the place. So, you know, <laughs> um, to say that this uh, our system has been spoiled is an understatement. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, over the years, seeing players like Pekka, Saros, Forsberg, Yossi, Ekholm, Ellis, uh, <laughs> Just to name some <laughs> off of the roster, Tolvin and Trennan. Uh, after last night, now I can put you know in that list. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, we've been spoiled. But today, while you're here, is the trade deadline. But before we get into that, please check out our sponsor, Hockey Locker, 2002 West Hart Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585. You, while you're also calling people, you can call the Ad- Milwaukee Admirals. They are now selling season tickets for the 2021-22 season at 414-227-0550. Um, while you're also online looking at Hockey Locker's website, you can subscribe to us at From Milwaukee to Nashville on YouTube uh, and click that bell to get notified every time we upload a video. Click like and follow on Facebook. All right, so Nashville waited till after the little e went for their trade. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, it took a little while to get everything worked out. But um, Nashville made one move, wasn't something big. Um, so they traded for Erica Branson. Erica Branson is a defenseman. He is paid four million against the cap. Uh, he has been paid by the Ottawa Senators two point three million. So Nashville's on the hook for one point seven. Um. His cap remaining is uh, 931000 with incentives of $1.7. Um, uh, he signed with the uh, uh, Vancouver Canucks back in 2016-17, uh, played for them for two years, got traded to Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh traded him to Anaheim, Anaheim traded him to Ottawa, uh, with that being said, he is on the last year of that deal. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see Nashville make a move, uh, make a, a try at trying to resign him. He is a 29 year old, uh, right handed shot defenseman, 6'5, 217. Two, he was drafted third overall in the 2010 draft. That is now the fourth. 2010 draft first round pick that the has played in the national predator system to go along with that draft. Let's just get into that a second. We got Eric Branson, Ryan Johansson, Mikel Granland, and Austin Watson all have played for the Nashville predators. Out of that. Oh, and Jared Tenardi. Anybody else? Uh, Not that I'm seeing. Well, that's just the first round. God only knows how many actually made it. Um, out of the second round draft in 2010, they didn't have a pick. But Nashville picks up a good, big, bruising defenseman. Um, he is a, somewhat of a defensive liability. But with the way that their forwards play and everything, um, I think it's possibly a good fit. A change of scenery when you've been moved around as much as he has to a team like Nashville. Now, we'll see how this works out. Right. But a change of scenery for him may not be a bad thing. Now, in return, Ottawa got Brendan Fortunato, who is a young defenseman and a seventh round pick in 2023, 20, yeah, 2023. Which they're gonna have to sit on that for a couple, like three drafts. So I mean, 
a seventh round pick for a guy who could potentially show up your D line when you're actually hurting. Not a bad get for Nashville, especially with all the injuries. And you right. want a guy who brings some grit with the way that they've been playing. Um, he's a guy you could put with potentially Ekholm or Alice or Yossi. Yossi, more particularly, um, Yossi is a uh, the other uh, the big thing about Gabranson is he's a right-handed shot. And that is something that Nashville lacked with Yossi on that side. And I think that that may be a helpful thing for them. Um, Yossi is set to make 9 million till 2027, 28, and has a full no movement clause. Um, so anybody that would be worried about Yossi being moved, uh, don't worry about it. Right. Um, in this sense, for the Admirals, uh, Fortunato spent all of last season with the Florida Everblades, um, barely doing anything there. Um, this year he has played for the Cleveland uh, Monsters and Tucson Roadrunners bouncing around the AHL because of locker room problems. So if they're avoiding a headache and um, dealing with a player who may think he's too good for the AHL, um, that may be uh, a good thing for Nashville. Um, I've seen that in guys like Alexander Radulov. Um, Now Radulov had some merit to it where Fortunato, you were undrafted free agent signing. You never were even drafted. You know, that's not a good thing when you have that attitude, when you haven't proven yourself at all. Um, no, it isn't. And and that's something that, that if Nashville saw that, then that's a problem. Uh, but for that, uh, this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. On that, stay tuned. We have a full coverage of the trade deadline day coming up soon for anyone who is a fan of any other team. So please stay tuned to check that out. Talk to you all later. Peace. Mm-hmm.